For nearly 65 years, Lansky has made the latest fashions available to the king of rock and roll, Memphis locals, and visitors. The store that permanently changed how America dresses. Well, here we are in Memphis, Tennessee, in front of Lansky. This is where Elvis used to buy all his clothes, and we're going to get the story about Elvis and all the stars around here straight from the horse's mouth. This should be a good one. Come on, let's go. Well, hey, Hal, how are you doing? Good morning, Patrick. It's good to see you. You know, they said you would come uh, come to see me, and I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I'm uh, excited. And, yeah. and there's a lot of memories in here, huh? Right, yeah. This is our uh, our store. It's Lansky, uh, Lansky at the Peabody. We've been in business 67 years. Long time. And I'm, I'm second generation, and we also have third generation in. But uh, my dad, who uh, founded the company in 1946, uh, his uh, moniker is Clother to the King. Uh, we have that trademark. Anyway, yeah. anyway uh, my dad, I saw this uh, young man looking in the window. He didn't know it was uh, Elvis. And of course, Elvis didn't know he was Elvis That's either. Right. Not at that time. Was, he was a young, young man. And uh, my dad said, come on in, young man. Let me show you around. And uh, Elvis said to my dad, uh, Mr. Lansky, I don't have any money, but one of these days I'm going to come in and buy you out. My dad said, uh, young man, don't buy me out, just buy from me. And that's what started their lifelong relationship. But uh, uh, he, he shopped with us uh, from the beginning um, all the way to his death. Matter of fact, the, the, the hotel we're in now, uh, my dad outfitted Elvis for his junior senior prom in 1953. Yeah. He put a nice um, lightweight uh, pink uh, tuxedo coat on him. And uh, we like to take uh, credit for the uh, black, pink and black color combinations. of. That was one of his trademarks right, too. Yeah. Uh, you know. uh, black uh, black uh, cars, pink Cadillacs. He, he loved black and pink. But you know, in the 50s, those are your colors, your teals, oh, and, yeah. and your blacks, and uh, black and pinks. And Elvis could pretty much pull off everything. I tell everybody that uh, um, you know, Elvis had the talent, and his talent in our clothes would made, a, made a winning combination for him. But uh, Elvis, uh, everywhere he went, uh, he was like a walking bill, billboard for us. They said, where'd you get your clothes, Elvis? Where'd you get your clothes, Elvis? And he would say, Lansky's on Bill Street. So uh, he was a great PR uh, ambassador for, for our store. And now you're in the Peabody Hotel, right? right? The so. South Grand Hotel. There you go. And we're only a waddle away from the Peabody Ducks. So, uh, That's right. We, we, uh, we see people from all over the world. Uh, uh, twice a day, our hotel is loaded with uh, bus tours coming in to, to see the, the world famous uh, Peabody Ducks. Well, now I know in the shop there's different areas where you can show you some of the history. Right. So you want to go ahead and show us some of that? Well, yeah. We you know we uh, we try to uh, recreate some of our fashions and uh, uh, a couple things we do real good with is uh, is yeah. uh, I saw these right off the yeah, bat. This is yeah. a Speedway, yeah. You know this Elvis yeah. in the movie wore the right the red and the blue yeah, blue one, right yeah. There. Elvis, uh, but everybody likes this and see how we flip the flip the colors. It's, yeah. It's not a day that doesn't doesn't go by that uh, somebody comes in and they want want us to flip their collar. They want to look like the king. They want to do the king thing. They want to shop where the king shop. They want to be like, yeah, so, how you doing, honey? Uh, yeah, so every every day we, we flip flip collars. Dang. Yeah. This is very popular with us. Uh, you know, of course, a lot of our shirts are, are yeah. wild. You know, it, nothing's new. You know, I've been in this oh. business for a long time. And, and uh, you know, I, t I tell you, I have a, my daughter, she's a third generation. She gets so excited when she sees new stuff. I said, I said, Julie, you know, I've seen this thing 20 years ago. Yeah. What goes around comes around. Right, so sure nothing's does. nothing's really new, but uh, Elvis in the '60s, he loved the uh, the Paisley's, Paisley look, just like the uh, Carnaby streets in in London, uh, yeah, London, absolutely. and uh, like this coat right up here over my shoulders. Oh, I don't yeah. know if you can see that. Yeah, we can catch you that. Know? We were, we were probably, in the 70s, we were probably the only store in America that had a full-time furrier. We were putting mink collars on, on jackets, mink cuffs, hats. In that time, everybody wanted to look like a pimp. Yep, pimping it up. Yeah, right? they, you know, the yeah. Superfly, we call it yeah. the Superfly era. Well, Isaac Hayes was, right. he was driving around. Right. He right? shopped with us. He, uh, it was uh, so cool. Isaac Hayes came in, came in the store one day. I'll never forget this. He just got, uh, you know, he just got his uh, uh, Oscar for the uh, oh, yeah. uh, shaft, and he yeah. came in and, and uh, the car with the Superfly. I had all the gold things. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. We, we went over there yeah, to check over, that out. Yeah. He came in the store. You know what he did? He hit a button and that car turned on. It was unbelievable. Yeah, you know, this, was, this was in the 70s, man. That was unbelievable. Did you see his TV in there, too? And he had a refrigerator I in the know, back in the seat. Back. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Man, That's I've never crazy. seen that. was technology in the 70s. <laughs> yeah, but, but it was very cool to see, uh, very cool. see him come. But you know, all the, all the, uh, all the guys from Sun Records, uh, the early days, you know, Carl Perkins, uh, yeah. um, Johnny Cash. Matter of fact, uh, over my shoulder down the street, Johnny Cash used to work in the uh, uh, WMPS uh, radio. Uh, a radio show over there, and uh, of course we had Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, uh, all of them, and then you know the stacks, stacks period in the seventies. Uh, you know uh, uh, Isaac Hayes, uh, Rufus Th Thomas. Uh, uh, Rufus Thomas, uh, he was famous for walking the dog, mm -hmm. and every time he'd go out, go out to the show, he'd get on stage. There'd be thousands of people would be on stage. He'd open up, open up his, his jacket. He'd say, "Ain't I clean?" 
and the crowd, thousands of people would say, Lansky's on oh, Bill. Yeah. So uh, he was a great PR for us too, but all the guys used to shop with us, uh, all of them. They yeah, loved yeah, you. All of them that came in. You know, that's, that's where, 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 the, where they came to get that's outfitted. That's you grew up, huh? Yeah, I grew up in there, and you know, it's, uh, it's cool 50 years later, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very cool because I was, I was working in a store, and you know, you work in a store, it's just a, it's just a job, but it turned out to be, a, be awesome. I wouldn't trade my experience for anything in, in the world. Yeah. Well, pretty amazing. Well, let's walk, check, walk okay. us around yeah. and show us yeah. some of the neat stuff. Okay. Patrick, you can do anything you want, just don't step on our blue suede shoes. I heard that song. You know, you heard that song, <laughs> Walking in Memphis? It's, oh, yeah. it's unbelievable. Everybody expects blue suede shoes in our store. When they come in, they want to walk. 10 feet above Bill, they want to walk in our blue suede shoes. But anyway, we've sold, we've sold these uh, shoes for blue years. suede. Yeah, blue <laughs> suede. Literally. And, and we're in collaboration with uh, Hush Puppy and, of course, the, the Elvis Presley, Presley mm -hmm. Hush Puppy. So uh, this is a great shoe. We got it in lace. We got it in slip on. And, uh, but th we sell hundreds of these a year. And blue suede shoes, baby. Yeah, don't, That's what don't I'm step about. on another no, I don't, don't step yeah. on them. And uh, right here, we call this one the um, Jungle Room shoe. This is our... Uh, yep, our we shot the Jungle Room. Yeah, Jungle Room, but yeah. uh, we got those socks and the belts to match. But the cool. people come to our stores, they, they want to take a little bit of uh, Lansky history home with them. So uh, There's a lot they of want to, I keep repeating myself. They want to shop with a king shop. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, they, they do. Hey, if you can do it, why yeah, not? Right? Exactly, exactly. That's right. Okay, I want to. I got uh, this. Is our new history book. History yeah, book. I saw that laying around. Yeah. It's looked pretty. But I want to show you something cool. So this was a. Uh, this was uh, Elvis's closet in the fifties. Wow. These are all Lansky clothes. Okay. You know, it's, it's unbelievable, Patrick. Uh, you know, we we get stars in here all the time, but they all they all. Oh, oh, their 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 dues to Elvis. I mean, they melt. I mean, Robert Plant, he he loves Elvis, and and, and you know, like John Lennon said before Elvis, there was nothing. But it's unbelievable. No matter how big the star is, they had uh, they they um, they want to be like Elvis. They play and, to uh, Elvis. Yeah, like uh, a, a story. Um, uh, Bruce Springsteen, when he was 16 years old, he jumped the gates because he wanted to get closer to Elvis. But Elvis has influenced so many people around the, around the planet. He still yeah. is. He, he is. He is. He still is doing he it. Is. There's a lot going on around here. Yeah, he is. We forgot to talk about all these amazing guitars all over the walls here. A lot of them, uh, a few of them, they give them to us. But uh, we started this collection in 1995, and our first uh, guitar over here is uh, Tom Petty. Tom Petty. Uh, that's a Traveling Wilburys guitar. Yeah. But he came in. Roy Orbison this, this, himself. This is a cool thing, you know. Um, Tom Petty is one of my favorite. He came in and uh, he wanted to meet my dad. And, and the coolest thing is when he came in, he was wearing a Bernard Lansky and Elvis t-shirt on him. My, one of my uh, rock idols was wearing a t-shirt with my dad on it. And that blew your mind. How cool is that? You know, my, dad cool. is, my dad's a cool guy, but you know, when uh, somebody like that is wearing a t-shirt. Wearing a it confirmed that he was officially cool to you. Well, it, it, yeah, yeah he, he, my, dad, my dad was was real cool. But anyway, that's that was our first guitar in this collection. So we just started, started doing this. But we we have guitars. We have a lot of guitars that we ran out of wall space, but yeah. uh, we got, uh, you know, just. You got BB King, Van King, Morrison, yeah. U2. U2. I mean, uh, that's great. Greg Allman, uh, Metallica. Dave Matthews, uh, all of Carl Perkins. They've all been in here. Yeah. Exactly. Well, now we have another area over there which we were going right. to, and what are we going to see over there? Let's okay, go. I'm going to show you this uh, famous coat we got. Okay, here we go. We're going to see something famous. Patrick, this is one of a very famous. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was right here. If you're an Elvis fan, you know this coat. But anyway, this my dad sold this coat to Elvis in the late '50s, and it was on the cover of uh, Jailhouse Rock oh, album oh, album cover. And uh, this is this is this is awesome. You know, a lot of people ask us uh, about Elvis. They, you know, of course we we took care of Elvis from when he was in high school. Uh, to his death, and uh, but we like to take credit for Elvis in the young early days when he was young and in, in, innocent, and he wore some really cool c clothes yeah. and stuff. But we like to take uh, he looked his best in the, in the early fifties, oh, yeah. and that's that's the landscape. He was a handsome yeah. son yeah. of a gun. Yes, oh yeah, yeah, he was. But uh, this is this is a cool coat. But uh, hey, while we're up here, I want to show you this photo right here. Sure. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me if I knew the King, and uh, I do have it. You know, back then, that's a picture of me, and I finally grew into my ears. Yeah, but, you know, back, you, did. you know, back then. You know, there was a, a lot of lost moments because the only people that had cameras back then were professional yes. photographers. Everybody and their brothers now is a, a, cell now a professional. So yeah. there's a lot of lost moments, but uh, I, but I cherish that photo. It's a, it's, a, it's a great time in the store. But Elvis, he, you know, a lot of people ask me, hey, how, what kind of guy was Elvis? What kind of guy was Elvis? And, he was, he was just very polite. You know, he said to my dad all the time, yes, sir, Mr. Lansky, no, sir, Mr. Lansky. One time I remember Elvis said, um, my dad said to Elvis, uh, Elvis, don't call me uh, Mr. Lansky, call me Bernard. 
just call me Bernard Elvis. And uh, you know what Elvis said? He said, yes, sir, Mr. Lansky. Yeah. He, was, he was a Southern gentleman. Yes, he yeah. was. Yeah. Can you imagine if he was still alive today? He'd still be shopping you know, here. You know, well, we hope so. You never know. But, uh, you know, every, everybody uh, just idolizes uh, uh, Elvis. And uh, it'd be a different world if Elvis was, uh, was uh, still living. And of course, we all remember Elvis. He's like he stopped in time. He's just a, a good-looking guy. And uh, the ladies go crazy over him. You know, during, during the 50s and 60s, uh, we'd have uh, women or young girls uh, camp out at the stores just to catch a glimpse of Elvis. They they would uh, send postcards. We were like a post office back then because they, they sent us the letters they wanted my dad to deliver them out to Graceland. And um, a lot of times they would uh, buy buy stuff for them. You know, this stuff back then, of course, a shirt for $2.95, three ninety-five. dollars It was probably a lot of money back then, but yeah. they, would, they would buy stuff for Elvis and say, take it out to Elvis and tell him it's for me. And they would give him photos of, of themselves. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, it, it was quite a quite a quite a deal. It was unbelievable. Yeah, a lot of history. Yeah, small town guy does great. That's right. He's an yeah. idol. Yeah. Hey, Patrick, I want to thank you for spreading the word about Lansky's around the planet. You know? <laughs> Not that the king already hasn't well, done a great he, job, he's right? He's been a great ambassador, for, but I want to tell you, you just shook the hand that shook the hand that shook the world, and thank you so much. You know what I mean? See that? Yeah. Is that on film? Okay, you got yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. It. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm not going to wash this hand for at least 10, 15 minutes. Well, you got to wash your hand. Well, when I eat, yeah. I do, okay, you know, okay. but thanks so much. Oh, you're yeah. welcome. You're welcome. You know, I learned a lot about Elvis, thanks to you. You're welcome. A lot you're of things, welcome. you know, that you don't normally know, right? Uh, you're in Memphis, man. This is history. This is history. It is history. I loved it. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy.